baby chicken wings. They're like baby chicken wings. Look how tiny, look, look. It's smaller than my finger. Oh my gosh. Hey Warriors, so today is day 25 and uh, let's just say that I started my morning off differently. I started my morning off with, I believe, food poisoning. So my old mad yesterday was, um, I went to this seafood place and um, it's, you know, it's, it's another one of the unlimited places like all you can eat or whatever. And I like I like going to those places during my OMAD because then I, I really do like kind of get my fill, my share. But I didn't, I just ordered, I tried to order like one of everything that was on the menu, but some stuff I didn't, I just really wasn't feeling. And then it seemed like it was a lot. So I said, let me just start off with some of those. So this is what I had. KKB or child, I don't know. I think it's, it's called seafood. Oh, KKB Seafood and Barbecue Grill. Okay. I'll show you a picture soon. But it's all you can eat. They cook the they cook the food and stuff for you. Um, I'm not cooking it myself this time, so okay. But I will show you some of the options, and they have a ton of meat choices here, which is great. What I ordered was sizzling gambas, which she said is really popular. It's peeled shrimp, so gambas is peeled shrimp. Of course, I ordered shrimp tempura because tempura, okay. I did shrimp and lemon butter sauce, chicken wings because you know me and chicken wings. I also got some calamari because that's what they look like. And I got some fried shrimp. Actually, what is that? Sizzling gambas. Sizzling gambas? Yes, that's right. It smells so good. It's oh my good. God. Oh, chicken wings and rice sauce. Oh my God, it smells so good. And there's no no peel. Mm -mm. No peel. God, that it smells, smells amazing. <laughs> she is, I'm, I'm gonna keep that smell. Wow, y'all look at this food. What? <sighs> this is, yes. Baby chicken wings. They're like baby chicken wings. Look how tiny, look, look. It's smaller than my finger. Oh my gosh. Sizzling scallops. Wow. Y'all, I got, I got sizzling scallops. What are these? Scallops and lemon butter. Scallops and lemon butter. And also the tempura. Tempura. And the sizzling gambas. Sizzling gambas. Chicken wings, if I sauce. Baby chicken wings. Baby chicken wings. Then shrimp and lemon butter. Shrimp and with also eyeballs. the fried shrimp. And fried shrimp. Yes. Golly. <gasps> And they say this is, you can keep eating. Who's gonna keep eating? So I didn't get to eat everything because I did start filling up and I didn't order like more food or anything like that. So, and I only drank water. I had like a little bit of water. So um, usually when I have seafood, like I, um, depending on how it's cooked, I have like an allergic reaction. So that was my primary concern. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have an allergic reaction. I never did. I was so happy I never had an allergic reaction. However, I noticed like I was a bit um, gassy, like discomforted in my in my tummy. And then this morning, um, this morning was just, your girl was like, it was like an exorcist or something. Cause I kept running back and forth to the bathroom. Um, I was hugging the trash can and I know this is TMI, I'm sorry, and on the toilet at the same time. I was just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. From past experience, um, when there is a case of like diarrhea, you need to drink water because it will help with the dehydration. If you don't drink anything when you have diarrhea, um, the dehydration is gonna worsen and you're still gonna continue running back and forth to the bathroom. So me, y'all know, it don't matter what country I'm in, I'm going to find this. And if, it, if the country doesn't have it, we're going to import it. Okay. 
So I um, put a few tablespoons. I don't even use tablespoons. I just pour, but I know it's a few tablespoons because I've been using apple cider vinegar. What's this, 2022? 20, 20, oh my God, I've been using apple cider vinegar for over 10 years now. That's crazy. So I poured some of that in some water. I drank a couple mugs, you know, just kept going. And I feel, I do feel better. I do feel better. But yeah, so oh, day 25 and... <laughs> day 25 had some food poisoning but i'm feeling i'm feeling much better now and i did get a message that my scale is here so i knew it i just knew it when they said that it would it would it could come around the 25th or I, I was like oh my god the first 25 days no scale the rest of my 75 days i'm gonna be able to weigh myself every day and like i said in one of my previous vlogs like for me, I like I like to use the scale daily. I like to weigh myself daily because it helps me to see either progress or what I need to change. It's like, don't eat that because that's going to pack weight on you. Or, yeah, okay, what you did was okay. Or, you know, dial a uh, uh, scale up the exercise or dial back the exercise. Like, so it's it really helps me um, with my progress and things like that. So I get my scale today. I'm excited. Today, oh my God, day 25 is going to be the first day that I get to check my weight since I left China. I have so many fitness apps. It's ridiculous. Let's go to Happy Scale. I like Happy Scale. One of my friends, shout out to Mickey B. She, she told me about that. Okay, so the last time I weighed myself was... Was it June? Was it June before I left? That's when I had a scale. The last time I weighed myself was June 7th, Tuesday, June 7th. And I was 261.9. Prior to June 7th, my last weigh-in was uh, Monday the 23rd, and I was 262.6. Sunday the 22nd, you said I was 259. Because your girl was eating, okay? But you see my fluctuations, like back and forth. Oh, my God. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back. There was one where I was 267, 268 on May 17th. I was 268. May 10th, I was two. Yo, go down, go down. Wait a minute. Your girl was 241. What is this day? May, oh, that was my last day of my fast. Wow, I got down to 241. Y'all, first of all, that's major okay let me just tell you that is that is truly major my lowest weight that i have ever been in my uh, entire adult life okay because remember i used to be almost 400 pounds the lowest that i've ever been in my adult life was 243 pounds but here i had a new low and that was this year of 241.19 now for those of you are like Girl, that's still a lot. First of all, I'm 5'11", okay? I'm very, very tall. I will show you, like, my body, okay? My body has been blessed to be miraculous, so I carry weight well. But, oh my gosh, I actually reached a new low, and that was this year, 241. So my ultimate goal, in case you're wondering, like, what is my actual goal? My goal for, for weight loss before I do... um. Uh, loose skin removal surgery because y'all I know y'all see the bat wings and all of that stuff and whatever my goal is 233 pounds but that is to keep it off for at least six months to a year so it's not like oh I, I hit the goal so it's not like as soon as I hit the goal like I can go get the surgery I told myself and my family fully supports me. I said, I get down to 233, but I must maintain that number. Like I have to keep that number for six months to a year before I can have the surgery. And so like, what would that look like? I don't know because I am, I'm living it. I'm just going through it. So it will be interesting to see how much I weigh today. But I did set a goal in the beginning of the year, even though I didn't know when I was going to do my 100 day challenge. I did set a goal at the beginning of the year for me to re reach the 230s this year and then start working on like keeping it off and the fact that I was 241 but see that was with an an absolute fast I, well not absolute it was with a water fast okay absolute means you have no water no nothing okay you just you just you and air okay but for 21 days from April to May I had water coffee sometimes I didn't want to have you know anything so I, I did a dry fast but that was for 21 days this year 
and I got down to 241. But as you see, that day I ate because I, yeah, I broke my fast on Saturday. You see, we started putting back on. And then Tuesday, but baby, Wednesday, because I was eating leftovers, okay? I was eating leftovers this whole week. Honey, a whole week after, we went from 241 to 268. 268. And by that time, I was like, oh, heck no. We got to, we got to fix that. So I started going down 267. Uh, 262, 261, 260, 259, 262, then 261. So it's gonna be really interesting when my scale gets here to see what I um, what I weigh now, day 25. And I already know that like that's really going to whatever the whatever the number is on the scale, like it's really gonna get me back on track. Cause I told you like for the past uh, since day six. Team. Yesterday, I did make a healthier choice though, because I could have went to a place that had a whole bunch of carbs. Yeah, the past nine days. <sighs> but things are looking up though. I did have a much better attitude yesterday. I decided to deal with trauma. I am literally in it to win it. I'm not letting my circumstances or my situations uh, get the best of me. And yeah, we're going. I'm, I'm like, I'm legit excited. My scale is here. Y'all, I don't have any scissors in this place. Can I do it like this? I hope it's not, I hope it's not trash and flimsy. I hope it's a good one. Okay, all right. Jeez. I hope it's not too small. All right, look at this here. So what we have here is this looks real small. Oh my God, this looks so small. Multiple data lines indicate blah, 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 blah. Yep, smart scale. The scale better not be that size. Look at that. God, Asia, Asia is not big people friendly. Oh my God, please don't let this thing be super tight. I'm gonna be so disappointed. This just, it looks and feels like it's small. What the, f why is everything so small? Oh! How am I supposed to stand on this? Look at that. Y'all don't look at my feet. My feet ashy right now. How, why, how? So, y'all see this little baby scale. We are gonna get on it, it's nighttime. Usually weigh myself in the mornings. This thing is, Lord Jesus, this is a baby scale. What'd it say? 266.9. Good morning, warriors. Today is day 26. It is currently almost 9 a.m. So, um, sometimes when I wanna see the difference, I do weigh myself like, now all of my weigh-ins are, are during the day. They're in the daytime. But sometimes when I want to see a difference, I will weigh myself like at night to see. So last night, because I just got the scale last night, I weighed myself. And this morning, I weighed myself. And here is, um, here's the difference between the two. All right. Let's see what the scale says. 